Tommy, we're here today in Walkland uh, to talk about your amazing collection of tattoos and you're an extremely well-known figure on the streets of Salford and Manchester and Benidorm even. Could you tell us when you had your first tattoo done? Yeah, the first one did it myself with a needle and cotton on my hands, true love. You know, I had my first tattoo, proper one, in Blackpool, that dad would send it on. Send as your wife? Yeah, and then, then we used to go every year to black people and the year after I went and they had another dagger there with my name on it from there they've just carried on. Um, is it true that every part of your body is tattooed? Yeah. W what do the neighbours think of you? All the neighbours love it. All the kids know me, you know what I mean? Yeah. All the kids... I tattooed Tommy Spider Spiderman. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to ask, is it painful? They're all painful. Certain places hurt more, you know, like palms of the hands, palms of your feet, round, round the nose it bounces. Been scared of his venture. I've been in the star of the sun. I've been in a few of the papers. If I get any money, I give it to my daughter, my grandkids. I've got 16 grandkids. Nine times a great granddad. What do they think of your tattoos? Oh, they love it. Declan's. Uh, they've got two, two, the, two youngest, only a couple of weeks old. But all the others, they love it. But they're frightened, you know, until they get... Because they know even as little as they are, there's something different about him. I noticed on your yeah. lips, you've got yeah. the teeth tattooed on your yeah. lips. Yeah, can't knock my teeth out. <laughs> <laughs> Have you even got the inside of your lip tattooed? Yeah. What does that say? Peed. That means when the first time, that was 30 years ago, uh, the Bolton Journal, front and back, that's how it started off. Yeah, I've known him a very, very long time. Oh, he's a fantastic fellow. I've not, like I say, I've known him years. How many tattoos have you done for him? Can you recollect? Uh, it's, it's, it's got to be about 30. Like I've been tattooing, God. It's got to be 34 years, and I'd, I'd tattooed him then, and at the time I was only like 15. The real private parts I've not done, but I've done, I've got a lot of tattoos on him. Did you do his head? Yeah, yeah. well I've done the back of his head. Sandra, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. that was when his, his wife first died. Who yeah. tattooed his face? I don't know. I, I, he asked me to do it, but I wouldn't do it, because I know the complications that you do get with it. Yeah. And like, he's... he's He's learned that himself because we did fall out about it because I wouldn't tattoo his face. Uh, he's most probably gone to someone in a back street or someone's house and they've done it for him because I can't see a tattooist tattooing his actual face. He's a bit of a character, isn't he? Oh, like. <laughs> more than a character. But he, he is, he's, he's a good man. Is it true, Tom, that you didn't have your face tattooed till you till Sam, she died, Sandra yeah. died? Till she died, yeah. And what was the reason for that? Well, I just, I was just up, that upset, and I went to, just to prove how much I loved her, so I got my mate, went to my meeting. Dave the Wizard put the, the, the name on my head, and then Mick Planny filled it all in then. Have you any idea how it's cost you? I've spent a few grand, but I've had a lot for now. That you've, you say you've had every part of your body tattooed, so have you run out of flesh to be inked in then? No, no more room. So, is your family going to follow one of your tradition having tattoos? Or? No, my lad, one of my lads has got a few, but he can't afford it. Can't afford it. Yeah. And my grandson had one, he only had a liquor one. And he was going to get cut, but he had a liquor one like that, he said never again, he had to stop. You know, like a bat and things like that. You still get out for a pint, Tom? Well, every day, yeah. I'll be going when, I come, when you've gone, I'll be going straight to the top of the necklace. As I say, you're a, you're a well-known character around Salford, aren't you, Neckles? It's got to be said. Easy, you would, not they? They are, yeah, yeah. Had them a few years. Yeah. 1978, Tom, you've yeah. had them. Yeah, So do you think you're Britain's most tattooed man? I don't know. I go abroad a lot, you know, and I've never, I've never met anybody to match me, you know what I mean? People come in the bar to say, you see me around here, you know, they've got tattoos, so, you know, can't, get up to, can't match him. No. 